I just make films about what I'm interested in. And I'm interested in the way that we treat each other, the way that we have treated each other, whether it's historically, whether it's right now. So from A Wrinkle in Time, which really deals with our relationship to the universe, to Selma, which deals with our relationship to one another based on race. This deals with it based on caste. Um, you know, uh, when they see us, is about the criminal justice system and the way that that we regard each other within that stru structure. I, that's what I like to study, and so I just make films that satisfy me, and I have to trust that it'll connect with someone out there. Well, I like to skirt the, the the edges and blur the lines between documentary and narrative, and we do that quite a bit here. Um, and I think that there's something to fact and fiction and blurring those lines. As long as we stay responsible in doing that, keep our eye on the ball, um, it helps people come into the story. It, so it doesn't feel like medicine. You're watching a story about a woman who's unraveling a mystery. It just happens to be about social justice. And that's, that's how I try to do it. The baseline of the whole film is that Trayvon Martin um, murder. Um, it's very rewarding for me personally, not just professionally. I feel that I'm, yeah, you know, I can express myself through the character, through the film. Yeah, no, Trayvon has definitely been a huge catalyst in my life, you know, a huge, um, you know, Trayvon, as I always say, could have been me. He could have been my brother. He was 17 when he was taken from us, and I was 12 when the situation happened. So, you know, I was, I'm very aware of the situation. So to be trusted with showing not only his life, but his light, you know, and how, just how cool of a person he was, you know, and show this from his perspective, I think is what I really, really love about, you know, portraying him in this film. It's an extremely pertinent film, an extremely important film, uh, but I think what's, what's so staggering in, uh, about this achievement, I think, is that it doesn't feel spoon-fed. It doesn't feel like you're taking your medicine. You're, 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 it, it's able to sort of deliver this philosophy that, that, that Miss Wilkerson wrote up, uh, but it, and it does it in a cogent way and, it, and in an accessible way, but you're, you're, on the front, you're, you're on the foot of your seat, you know what I mean? You're leaning forward and um, she's able to humanize it. It's a, it's a really, it's a staggering achievement. So yeah, I think it's important. I think that people need to see it, but I also think that it's, uh, it's deeply entertaining and I'm not just trying to sell it. I think it's a really important film and it's something I'm gonna surely have my kids see and uh, I'm gonna talk about it to everybody I see. Oh, yeah. It's going to be my third time seeing the film tonight. I was so moved uh, by it, and I feel it'll change, redefine the topic of uh, racial conversation in America. But I donated uh, 100K from my foundation just to provide free screenings, um, which we're starting with next weekend here in New York for educators and students. And everyone, I, I'll, I, and I'll do more. I want to make sure anything I can do to have people see this film. And um, my nonprofit, the Human Solidarity Project, which you can, just by the name of it, you can tell it's in line with the message of this film. Well, I have so much respect for Ms. Wilkerson. I think that book changed my perspective on how I see myself and how I see this country. So for me, it was just an honor to walk in her shoes, so to speak, every day. So it wasn't hard for me. I felt like I, it, it felt like a joy to do that. The amount of stories from all over the world that get told through this book, through um, cast uh, as, a, as a book, as a movie, uh, the stories about India, uh, Germany. Uh, it's, it's just amazing to share people with people what happens in the world and how different forms of caste system and racism just take place and how we're all in a way liable to contribute to it if we don't watch out. And everybody right here, please. And then right here, everybody, here we go. Right here. Right here. Sorry, one more look here, please. John, right over here. Here we go. John. Everybody, start on the right. Can everybody look at right here, please? And then everybody here.